Okay guys, today I wanted to talk about some more advanced topics on ranged. And this is your host, Crowbar Zero. And so just to throw it out there as a start, if you are looking at possibly wanting to increase your range, so that would be <clears throat> either your tower range or your chrono field range, um, just as a preface, just know that if you do expand those out, it is going to be detrimental to your coin farming. So, when does that not matter nearly as much? Two things. One, you've gotten your uh, workshop to a point that um, you can basically can buy out whatever you need for tournament rounds and for your farming rounds with your uh, in-game cash. So, anything any increases after that are purely for comfort for for luxury you don't actually need it for progressing your account overall two is energy shield three energy shield three is incredibly expensive um i've seen it cost uh, what is it, like 800 trillion for some players for me um, because i had enough discounts it was uh, about uh, 750 uh, trillion coins it's uh, it's a metric ton so you want to make sure that you've got as much farming potential as you can to be able to buy those things out before you start increasing your range now if you're not to that point I will give you some advice um, <clears throat> for me personally um, if you're like if you're just curious about like what what's the best range for me for running my orbs i would take that and go okay so ideally you want to be taking out ranged enemies with, or that's that's generally what most people are going to be wanting to set up their uh, orbs at so what i figure is let's say that uh, based on your range uh the enemies are stopping about let's say 70 meters well you probably want to put your orbs at about 75 that way they're just about going to you know clip and take out those ranged enemies when they're at uh, their max range and just about to shoot you but also while they're on that approach that personally from from what i've seen seems to work the best there there's some other ranges that are out there and i don't exactly understand the logic why but it seems like most people where i'm at um, are probably running about, you know, using that same logic. Anyway, um, going on. So what, what are some of the, you know, when you get to that point, you've got your, you know, your pumped out, uh, workshop all leveled up, uh, maybe not, you know, totally maxed out, but, you know, it, it's, it's looking really good. And, uh, you've got energy shields, right? So, all right, let's expand out that range. So right now, a lot of people are suggesting a range about 14, maybe 15. Uh, currently, I have 14. I'm like, yeah, I'll just play safe. Um, for Chrono Field, it's kind of suggested that you know you get the most bang for your buck, uh, expanding that out to about range 15. Um, you'll still get benefits from expanding that out farther but that will give you a little bit more of a window to deal with fast as they're approaching so if there's anything like uh or, or, or just any, any in general kind of slows them down a little bit maybe some of your balance shots can come around and you know knock some of the ranged enemies around so they never even reach your uh, firing line you know that's always a nice thing um yeah and that's kind of the, the short and sweet of everything. Again, if you are expanding out your range, just know it's going to hurt your coin production. It definitely has hit mine. I was hitting about uh, farming rounds uh, before this was about almost uh, 90 billion. And now I'm looking at uh, farming rounds about like... 60 to 70 so it can have actually a pretty big impact anyway uh hope that kind of frames things uh and gives you guys an idea of at least what i'm doing 
obviously there there's a lot of theories out there there's still people that are testing things um but so far the advice that i'm giving i think is the most tested it's logical it makes sense and uh yeah anyway i will catch you guys later i'll probably be making some more videos in the future about you know kind of my my take on each of the ultimate weapons what you would want to expand out you know everything to the pluses the minuses all that fun jazz so look forward to that and i will catch you guys later